Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brett Medigan and this is the Baron Horseman or Houseman CryEngine demo 0 0.5.0. Now, I just wanted to go through this demo just to sort of give you guys my impressions on the technology used and to sort of give a little bit of information about what are the issues in relation to the demo and what can be improved. Obviously, the performance isn't really that great as of right now, but hopefully over time, the uh, intern uh, that created this demo can you know, optimize performance and stuff like that. Obviously, it's just going to be a visual demo at this point, you know, just to show off shadows, to show off uh, dynamic lighting and stuff like that, and obviously visual fidelity. So, you know, I'm, I just want to go through some of the features for it. So obviously it's going to have car shadows, uh, lighting and stuff like that. So obviously the lighting doesn't really look that wonderful uh, in the daytime. So let's make it a little bit darker, shall we? Uh, going through the, the daytime and day and night cycles, it does take a little bit of time. So bear with me while I, while I change it. Okay, so it's about nighttime now. So obviously when I turn the light off, the room is completely dark. When I turn it on, you can see that there's a little bit of blackness happening around this, uh, around the edge of the light source here, which I don't think would happen. Now, I'm not really a light guy. I'm not really a, a shadows guy or anything like that. So I don't really know how this sort of thing works, but it does look pretty impressive nonetheless, right? So you've got the the uh, the light sort of casting off back here or reflecting off the walls, which, you know, pretty much is pretty solid in terms of lighting. And uh, I don't know why there's no uh, light sort of glowing out the door here, but, you know, it's not really that big of a deal or an issue, I should say. So if we walk over here by this little thing, like, I, I'm, I don't know, like, with a little bit more detail and anti-aliasing this chair could look pretty darn impressive like it does look pretty impressive now if you're watching in 1080p but you know with a little bit more anti-aliasing and a little bit more like straightening over the edges it could look more impressive than it already does i just love the fabric like it looks really really impressive not gonna lie like even the detail like the on the doors and on the uh Ceiling. I don't know what you call those. They're not skirting boards. The skirting boards are the ones that you have on the on the ground level, right? So I don't know what are they called skirting boards as well. I don't know, but they have like quite a lot of detail put into them, which is pretty interesting to me, anyway. It might not be interesting to you, but it is to me. So, um, <laughs> all right. So let's make it a bit darker. Uh, sorry, a bit lighter again, so we can see where we're going. So yeah, the the day and night cycle. Just you know. Looks really impressive. Obviously, it's showing off all kinds of lighting, so it's showing off lighting within the environment as well as day and night cycles outside. So, you know, this already looks really impressive. I don't know how it's getting light, um, that much light from over this side if the sun's over here, but, you know, whatever. One thing I did notice with this demo is the reflections. The reflections don't really reflect exactly what is behind me but you know it is pretty pretty good anyway right um let me just see if i'm making it a bit lighter yep there we go so we can actually see what we're doing a little bit better so uh, as you can see there the reflection does go a bit broken and a bit skew with so you know that's yeah, it's, it's not looking too bad for a reflection because most reflections that we see today are either just random reflections or just reflections that you know, don't really look that great. So this reflection is actually a very huge step up in terms of what we've seen lately in video games. But uh, I would like them to uh, at least try to get uh, the proportions and stuff like that a little bit more correct because obviously those vases or vases or whatever you want to call them in the corner don't really reflect exactly correctly. And there are a few other things in the background as well that don't really follow what I'm supposed to be looking at. But uh, it's, it's pretty darn close, right? Um, there is one little thing that I don't really like about it, and that is that those t double doors over there. There are no double doors over there <laughs> whatsoever. Um, if it's referring to these doors, it can't see them from that specific angle. So I don't really know 
which doors they're supposed to be reflecting. Um, I don't know, maybe they changed the demo uh, at least two or three times in, in the relation to uh, where everything is. Maybe that's why, but, you know, whatever. Uh, if we look at the detail, right, on the this bench top here, just, like, look at that. Like, the marble, that looks impressive as. Like, look at that. The detail. We won't worry about the ground bit, but <laughs> the rest of it, it's not... It's pretty, pretty decent. Like this image here, like you can go right up in its grill and it's still looking pretty, pretty fantastic. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I really do like the, the curtains though. Like the, it really does look like fabric um, to a certain extent, obviously. Uh, there is a little bit of work I think that needs to go into how the cloth sort of falls down and stuff like that. Because to me it sort of looks like it's a little bit too wavy. I think. Um, it needs to sort of feel like it's a bit heavier, I think. Uh, obviously, I'm not a developer. I'm not a you know designer of any kind of fashion. I'm getting into game design, so I, I do know a little bit about it, but I don't know what goes into creating a decent level. Uh, so, you know, I just want to comment on a few things just so the uh, intern that created this, at least by the, uh, the, the thread on the CryEngine sort of forums, uh, can hopefully take into what I account. That made absolutely no sense, but you get what I mean, right? Uh, but yeah, look, like, look at this fabric. Look at it. Like that is, that is top notch right there. Like, is really, really impressive. Like a lot of the demo is really impressive. There's a few things like this sort of uh, plant and flowers that don't really look that great. But, you know, for a, a demo, it's not looking too bad. <laughs> not going to lie. Like, if I turn this on, you can see that the both of these vases or vases, I don't know what the plural is, but, yeah, when you turn the light on, you can see that the light is sort of getting a little bit of a reflection. Uh, it doesn't sort of light up the... The mirror as much as I would expect it to, but you know, whatever. Still looks pretty decent. Obviously, there are a few like little shadowing glitches um, on the on the cloth there. Uh, so there's just there's a few issues like that that obviously can be fixed. Um, but yeah, I do want to point out though that the plants, like this plant here, has very very impressive reflections and looks looks so impressive like look at that like I am probably one of the most annoying people when it comes to visuals right and when I see this I, I can't even say what it makes me feel like in this video <laughs> like it's oh it's so impressive this reflection not looking too shabby um, like when I look that way Looks a little blurry, but um, and some of it, it looks kind of off as well. So hopefully that can be fixed. Um, but yeah, like most of the demo in terms of lighting and stuff like that looks really good. Uh, there are a few bugs or a few issues with lighting or the sort of surfaces that the lighting is being uh, uh, cast onto. But you know, like it does look it does look really good so far. Um, like this, like look, look at that, like just pause the video, 1080p, admire that, look at it, it, I'm not talking about the pillows, the pillows look kind of a little bit weird to me, but this, like this nearly looks perfect, like <laughs> the quilt, like, <laughs> it looks so good, let's turn this light on, light on, there we go, yeah, like the, this sort of stuff looks kind of a little bit weird, so let's just turn that light off. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the uh, of this demo and what you think they should improve. If you want to download it for yourself to sort of give, uh, I don't know, play it a little bit, just sort of run through it. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Obviously, it doesn't perform the best. My system is an i5-2500K clocked at 4.4 gigahertz. 
16 gigs of Kingston HyperX memory, and I've got a GTX 980 overclocked. It's not overclocked at the moment, though, but I also have a GTX 770 as my dedicated physics card, which isn't really doing too much, I just noticed uh, in this demo. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much maxing out my GPU, I can tell you that much. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. See you guys next time. Peace out.